The 81st Infantry Brigade from Fort Lewis wraps up a drill, Captain Scott Roffel. They'll go into buildings, raise their weapon systems, engage targets in there. It sounds simple, but you don't just fall out of bed and do this stuff. They're firing live rounds, so any mistake could be fatal. That's what worries retired Colonel David Hackworth, author of Steal My Soldier's Heart. My biggest concern is excessive casualties because they were not trained, they were not ready. If true, it could be for a couple of reasons. First, these National Guard troops are not full-time soldiers. Uh, I'm a before and after school site director for the YMCA. I'm a service manager for German X. German X Pest Control. I actually just started going to college. There's no way that you can take a unit that only has 38 days a year active duty training and say this unit will be good to go with, and comparable to a regular unit that has 365 days. Exit building 4321. There's a second big challenge. We're not there to tear down, you know, buildings and city blocks. We're there to support the Iraqi people. So Captain Anne Marie Peacock says this brigade has had to switch gears. We were a heavy armored brigade and, you know, we're used to coming in with all the tanks and, you know, just overrunning our objective here going over to Iraq it's different they've left the tanks and are learning for instance to search buildings for the enemy despite the challenges Peacock and other soldiers we talked to say they are prepared for Iraq we'll look at that side of the story tomorrow as our series citizen soldier continues Heather Bosch news radio 710 Cairo close-up